So some of my most popular videos are my knife sharpening system videos. This is the Tormek T8. I'm going to post a link in the description below. In fact, I'm going to post two links in the description below. Both of the booth review that I did at Blade Show, uh, I believe it was 2015, 20, no, 2016, Blade Show 2016. Saw them there, did a booth review, ended up getting one of these for myself, and I did another video on that. So I'll post links to both of those in the description below. These are not cheap. This unit is roughly around $700. And for a lot of people, they can't justify spending that much money. I have a third link I'm going to put in the description below called Why You Need a $700 Sharpener. Watch that if you have a problem with the price of this. People just kind of freak out. They, they don't see the value in it. And there is, there is a market for this. There, is a lot, there are a lot of people and a lot of companies who find the efficiency in this and it's well worth it for them. So that's all I'm going to say on that. I am taking this up a notch. This is a fantastic unit. It produces really, really, really sharp edges. You can sharpen chisels, you can sharpen axes, I mean, you can sharpen all kinds of stuff. With this leather wheel, you can put an amazing mirror finish on your blades. And I'm taking it up a notch with the 4000 grit Japanese water stone. So we're going to switch out the regular stone that's 1000 grit for the 4000 grit. And man, I tell you, when you feel this thing, it almost just feels like glass or... or I guess what I would equate it to is probably like a ceramic is almost what it feels like. If you've ever used Japanese water stones, you already know. So today we're going to be sharpening this SE4. Um, I've had uh, put this through a lot of use over the past couple of years. I've had it sharpened several times. I've used it in my Wicked Edge sharpening videos. And today we're going to put it on the Tormek. I'm going to show you. It, it's not horribly bad right now. Um, I'll show it to you cutting through some paper and show you it's it's got a, a couple little... Uh, little nicks in it that are catching the paper and it's also got some um, some um, tool marks in the steel where you can see that um, I, I put a little bit of an edge on it with the wicked edge and I left some tool marks on it didn't feel like running it through the ceramics and all that stuff so anyway we're gonna get rid of all that and put a razor sharp edge back on this SE4 today with this Tormek Japanese Waterstone let's do it Since I've already done a video on this Tormac T8, this is not going to be a review of that system. However, I did want to run you through just real quickly. This is a 10 inch stone. On the left here, excuse me, I guess it's your right here, is the normal stone that it comes with. It goes from 220 grit up to 1000 grit, and I'll explain that here in a minute. On your left here is the Japanese water stone, and this is 4000 grit. The, the feeling is tremendously different across these two. In fact, if I were to run the knife, we'll see if you can hear this. Okay, that was the 1000 grit stone. You can barely even hear any grit or anything on this 4000 grit stone. So, what do I mean by 220 to 1000 grit? Well, it comes with this other stone that helps you condition it. It has a more abrasive side and it has a very fine side. When this is turning, if you run that abrasive side down on it, it adds grit to the stone and gives you that 220 grit texture. If you run the fine edge across it, and I've demoed this, go watch that other video, but you can actually feel it start to lose that, that uh, rougher grit and really smooth out. So this stone helps you do both. You do not do this on this. Let's get this wheel on the device and get it started.
let's get you a look at some of the tool marks. Just see them there. And we'll see how it slices paper. Not horrible. It's a little catchy in some spots. So this is only about 10 minutes worth of honing. You can see there's still a few tiny little scratches in there. But that effectively put a mirror finish. You can see the rafters in the ceiling of my workshop here. Look at that. A little bit more work to do to take out some of these scratches down here at the end. We'll see how it does on paper. If you have one of these Tormex, you're not going to be happy with me because I'm about to make you spend another $400. This is insane. Like, I literally, after only about five minutes of using this, had this permagrin stuck on my face because I'm, I'm shocked. It actually puts, I almost think it's a nicer finish than, than the, the uh, leather honing wheel. I mean, I'm going to roll in some footage here. You can actually see the mirror polish on this thing. This is about 10 minutes worth of work on this Japanese waterstone. And you can actually read copy like holding a mirror to, uh, to the blade. It's incredible. Shaves my arm with no problem. I'll roll in a little bit of footage of that. So that's it, guys. The Japanese waterstone from Tormek. If you want an amazing utilitarian edge on your knives, the normal stone will suit you absolutely fine. If you uh, want a stupid sharp edge on your knives, this is what you need, the Japanese Waterstone. Like I said, it's $400. Um, at the time of shooting this video, it may change by the time you're watching this. I'm gonna post a link in the description below where you can get it, and um, I, I think you need it. It's pretty awesome. So again, please watch those other links in the description below. I know a lot of people aren't gonna spend this kind of money. I get it. Watch that Why You Need a $700 Knife Sharpener video, please. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button. Any comments, post them below, and we'll see you on the next one.